Well, we're still talking about Star Wars Outlaws and some other things. Boy, has this situation opened the floodgates. It's really funny to see all these developers come out and try to defend this stuff when it's really obvious that something has been going on with female protagonists in gaming for a little while now. And this picture from Learning the Law is a really good example of just about everything. Uh, he made a little joke about it. It says, introducing the Guardians of the Chinverse, the Four Horsemen of the Jaw Order. <laughs> There's the picture right there. I mean, he's not wrong. Oh, man, that Mary Jane is so bad. She was so bad. If you played that game, when she popped up, it almost kind of took you out of the game because she's so awful. Like, it almost kind of... There are a few times the immersion breaks on that game, especially during the graffiti mission and that scene at the end where Miles is a savior and and propped up like he's some kind of Jesus when he saves Harry. There's a really funny, funny video on that. But, yeah, I mean, there's something going on here. I think it's pretty undeniable, but they are trying to act like Oh, well, it's because the computer can't do gentler faces and all this shit. Even though you have evidence going all the way back to, like, PS2 of them getting faces right. But all of a sudden now it's a problem. Sure it is. Sure it is. Uh, the only problem is that people are calling out that they're trying to intentionally blur the lines between men and women. In fact, I mean, they outright say it. I mean, listen to this. Former Riot Games senior concept artist and current Easy Games art director, Michael Marino. Video game developers have an obligation to advance social justice and diverse representation. You know, no one's complaining about her background. In fact, everyone is pretty damn united in the opinion that they should have just copied this actress's face and it it would have been fine. And say, well, it is her face. No, it's not. Uh, this is her uh, with plastic surgery to be a little bit more manly. Nobody had a problem with the actress. In fact, she's, she's quite beautiful. Uh, that would have been fine, even though she'd still technically be a Han Solo ripoff, which is what this is. It's like a ripoff of Lando and Han Solo even wears Han Solo's color schemes and outfits. But nobody would have cared as... I think that still would have been pointed out, but nobody would be talking about her face because her face in real life is is gorgeous. You could have just used that face. You're paying her for that face. Why would you screw it up? But the obligation to advance social justice is what it really is. So here we go on this, and w one thing that I think has been pointed out from all of this is all these developers have this mindset. They all have this mindset. There is no diversity of thought in gaming. Uh, they all are far leftists. They probably, every single one of them voted Biden. Nobody has a different opinion. It's all the same agenda with all of them so they're all kind of on the same page and you could see that when all of them all of them openly go out and talk about how much they hate who what people especially white men and then when you say hey that's kind of a racist they're like no well you can't be racist to the white man you see that quite a bit I, in fact they look at you like you're crazy and that should tell you something right there too because not everybody shares that opinion but they sure do and then, some news on this. Sweet Baby Inc. influenced Alan Wake 2 allegedly using bots. So, this isn't for sure, but it's being... I don't, I don't want to say they for sure did it, because you can't really prove that. But it is funny the way things work. The way things work with this. So, Master of the TDS found bots 
once again, pushing some shit over on social media, uh, trying to hype up Alan Wake 2 because there was a little bit of a blowback on that game. This game lost money. Uh, They're not going to make money on this game. It's a financial disaster and another sweet baby death kiss. But when they lowered requirements for the game to run on PC, uh, there was a lot of bots out there talking about how uh, their ancient potato PCs can run Alan Wake 2. Hey, look at this. He does a great job finding all of these. Finally, my old clunky computer can keep up with the new game requirements. Finally, my old potato PC can handle a game. Yes, finally, my ancient PC can run Alan Wake. I can finally dust off my old PC. It's all the same shit. And he found a whole bunch of them. Now, he's alleging that Sweet Baby, I think, had something to do with this or Park Places. But either way, it's interesting to see this kind of stuff. You really get the sense that, I mean, with this, because what this is is because the reason that they lowered the requirements to play it, and this isn't how it launched. They had to do this after launch and, and wiggle the game around and update it to get people to to be able to have the ability to play this with their older PCs. But they did that because the sales were low, and they're like, shit, we got to figure out a way to get more people to buy it. So they lower the requirements and then send out these bots to let people know, oh, my old PC can run it. Oh, maybe I'll buy it now. It's kind of funny. So, yeah, this stuff is still going on. I really do think we are in a protest and uh, the developers don't like that because this is a hard time for them. AAA games not selling very well. And these people are losing a lot of money, and they need to do something. And I find it funny that they're going with the old blame the audience technique. (laughs) A very effective technique. I've seen it work so many times. It's a bold and interesting strategy, to say the least. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.